Okay. Full trims all the way in. That way, uh, I can fly pretty slow and, and stay with David. It's about 28, 27 miles an hour, about 425 feet. I've got a new uh, strobe light coming, uh, hopefully, fairly soon. Uh, at least I'm working on one. So it'll be something uh, different. We'll see. Stay tuned. Should be strobalicious. At least I hope it is. David is right underneath me. I'm at 650. He's probably around five. After a while flying, uh, I used to fly uh, 400 feet or less all the time. Now I'm getting up higher, and it doesn't seem as high as what it seemed before. So that doesn't make sense. Uh, the height isn't as high as it used to be. I, I don't know if that makes sense to some people, but uh, after you fly a while, it just seems like it's not as high as 600 feet doesn't seem as high as it used to seem. It's about 7.30. Sundown's around uh, 8.05, 8.10, something like that. And we can fly half an hour after that with the strobes. See the smoke down, smoke down there. You can tell which way the uh, wind is blowing. Plain field. This is plain field below us. Been flying for about seven minutes. We're about 7:30, about 25 miles an hour, about 600 feet. A lot of corn and soybeans below us. There are some hay fields. It's a beautiful Sunday. We expected a lot of rain and wind, and we had some rain, and we had, well, we had quite a bit of rain, and we had wind, but I uh, thought that hurricane would come up straight at us. It was heading over to Virginia, but it uh, shot north up towards Ohio. I don't think we're done with it yet. The back side of it. Four hundred and eighty four feet, flying for ten minutes, doing about twenty eight miles an hour. Nice farms out here. David's off to the left of me.
Here he comes up on the left here. So we can just pass on by each other here. I wonder if you, you call this a mid-air. If that was an airplane, that'd be a close call, wouldn't it? But we'll call him a friendly. Doing about 26 miles an hour. Looks like some deer out here. Uh, 454 feet. 3.3 miles away from the runway. When we first took off, uh, I connected with David on his Senna. Sometimes they'll just connect. And uh, they're pretty worthless. SMH-10R. This is uh, 20, I think. But uh, it, unless you're just right on top of each other, side by side, they are pretty worthless. You know, for what I use it for, for connecting to my uh, Bluetooth uh, audio pack, that, that's nice. And for cell phone, you want to make a phone call, that works. But there's some other units out there that are like 40 bucks that'll play radio, uh, connect to one another. Just as bad, <laughs> just as bad as the Senna's. And uh, you can make cell phone calls, and they'll actually connect to Senna just as bad as Senna connects to Senna. So, uh, yeah, I don't have much good to say about a Senna. I've got the uh, Bofink connection, Baofink, Bofink connection for the Senna, so I can hook up a two-way, but uh, I don't have anybody to talk to. Uh, David doesn't have it, and I haven't seen Christian in a long time, so I think he's either given up on flying or has a new hobby or whatever he's got going on, but I haven't heard from him. So... Uh, Need some more pilots out here in this area. Southeastern Ohio, West Lafayette, New Concord, Saintsville. There are some guys at about an hour and a half from here. Guy up at New Philly. Nice and smooth. Really nice and smooth. We're about a mile and an eight from the runway. Been flying for about 15 minutes. It's about 7:40. There was a uh, guy that left a uh, a comment on my page. Uh, I think his name was Mark H. And uh, he was talking about a new coil uh, mount. Uh, there's a new coil mount out. They changed the coil coil mount for the monster, and I replied to him, but I never heard back from him. Uh, he was going to upload a picture. So Mark H, if you're out there, uh, I'm not sure what happened to your comment, why it didn't uh, get back to you, or what happened. But uh, I'd like to see the picture of that the new coil mount. I know they've come out with a new. Uh, Electronic ignition runs around seven hundred dollars for the monster, uh, and if I uh, blow out my stator and my coil again, I will definitely uh, give it some thought about going to that. Seven hundred and eighty six feet, about a mile from the runway. Trims are all the way in. Doing about twenty six miles an hour. Beautiful smooth night. I need to adjust my idle, it's a little low. 
I think it needs to be up to about 2600 I think it's 2400 or 26 but uh, I'll check that out adjust my idle up a little bit but right now okay like E.T. flying over there. Hard to see in that sun. I don't see any aircraft. don't see any hangars open. I'm just killing some altitude here by... Make some turns, drop it. Get over here and get out of David's way. Okay. 